Yeah. All right, our right tail of tape. Bring it yeah. back for me. 23-year-old Kelsey Tyson, 34-year-old Stephanie Klein, 5'7 and 5'4 respectively. Both weigh in 125. 1-0 one oh is Kelsey Tyson. 2-2 two and two is Stephanie Klein. Here's Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the MCF Women's Flyweight Division, brought to you tonight by Platt Bar. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the Levander's Blue Corner. This ground and pound style fighter stands five foot seven, weighed in 123.2 pounds. She holds an amateur record, one win, zero defeats. Training independently and fighting out of Atlantic, Iowa, Kelsey the Kraken Tyson. <laughs> Her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the white tail red corner. The jiu-jitsu specialist standing five foot four, weight in 127.4 pounds. She holds an amateur record, two wins, two defeats. Representing Colorado Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Satori in fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Stephanie Rampage Klein. All right, here we go. Stephanie Klein and uh, Kelsey Tyson. Stephanie Klein in the black. And Kelsey Tyson in the floral design. Is that floral or camo? I can't tell. It could be both. We'll I'll see floral. when she gets I'll closer. Floral. To <laughs> she would be camouflaged in a bed of flowers. And both ladies meet in the middle and striking here early. Trading kicks, trading punches. Oh, a nice jab oh, got yeah, through there. Yeah. Stephanie Cotter. I mean, Kelsey has a. Oh, oh my! Boom. Stephanie grabs a leg, lands. And this is where All right. Kelsey does not want to be. Does not want to be down here with her. Right, you see her grab uh, the arm of Stephanie Klein, but you're right. Stephanie, extremely dangerous on the ground. Happy to be here. Yeah, I mean, she'll, she'll smother you on the ground. She'll have you fighting submissions after submission after submission. Elbows, punches being landed by Stephanie Klein, just softening Tyson up. You got to believe to try to sink a submission in. Yeah, and you got to, you know, you're going to have some nervous energy to expel at first, but I just don't, I just don't see that Kelsey's going to have anything for her on the ground. And on the back now of Kelsey Tyson is Stephanie Klein. You do not want to be here with Stephanie on your back. Sinking that right arm across the neck, going for the oh, rear naked choke. It's in. It's, a, it's over. It is in, and you see the blood rush to the face of Tyson, and that'll do it. Tapping out by rear naked choke. In round number one, Stephanie Klein unofficially gets the victory here at Midwest Championship Fighting 23. And my goodness, that's uh, exactly what you thought would happen if this fight went to the ground, Kelly. Yeah, I mean, it's no surprise and no shocker with her uh, pedigree for uh, grappling. But like I said, she strikes too, so she, she's not afraid to throw. Right. And uh, made it quick work and was softening Kelsey Tyson up with punches on the ground. Exactly like I said, to try to get a dominant position to where she could Sink in a submission. That submission ended up Kelly being that rear naked choke. Here it yeah. is on the replay. I mean, it's just complete, complete dominance once you got to the ground, you know. But uh, the thing about it is, this is MMA, not just jujitsu. So you got to worry about getting punched and kicked and yeah. elbowed. All right, here we go. It's MCF Cage announcer Mike Kendall with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Joe Doherty called to stop to this fight. One minute, 15 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by tap out in a rear naked choke. Stephanie Rampage Klein. There you go, Stephanie Klein, the victor. Tap out due to rear naked choke. Stephanie Klein improves to three and two in her amateur career. Here's Spectacular Elizabeth. finish. It was so good to see you in there performing. You've come a long way. You were an underdog on Tapology. Did that bother you in any type of way mentally? No, it actually motivates me, actually. What was your uh, game plan with your team and everything coming out of Denver, coming into North Platte? Honestly, I knew I had the advantage on the ground, so I was gonna hit her really fucking hard and try to get her down, but. <laughs> your jiu-jitsu is so slick, it was like, I. I popped up and you were already done, but I didn't expect anything less from you. Are you going to continue to do your jujitsu matches and, and get better on the ground? Or what's your game plan going forward? Absolutely. I have no gi worlds next month. So. And there you have it. Your women here, Stephanie Klein, ladies and gentlemen.
Yeah, and you better believe she's a contender at those no gi worlds next month. Uh, an impressive victory for Stephanie Klein. Yeah, she at that uh, Abu Dhabi in Vegas, she even got the attention of Joe Rogan, who right. actually sent her a message because it was an impressive for a purple belt to go against that high level of black belt and do that well against her. Yeah, and of course, Stephanie really been focusing on her training for the last eight, nine months. Uh, always been training, but really been going hard for the last eight, nine months, right, right. getting ready for competition. Yeah. Constantly training, and I know it wasn't too long ago somebody vandalized their gym and burned it down, so they yeah. were displaced and trying to find places to train. So, you know, props to them for coming right. out. Yeah, for sure. Coming out and uh, doing what she does, and that's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, a submission victory for Stephanie Klein.